Hey guys, uh, Joe Green from the Louisville Hip and Knee Institute. Let's talk about partial knee replacement. Let's talk about the difference with what a partial versus a total knee replacement is. And then we'll just talk a little bit about the recovery process and why there's pros and cons to each one. Uh, this is a partial knee replacement. So when we talk about the knee, we talk about three areas. We talk about the inside, which is the medial compartment. We talk about the outside, which is the lateral compartment. And then we talk about where the kneecap meets the thigh bone, which we call the patellofemoral compartment. If one out of three areas of the knee is affected with arthritis, then you are a candidate for partial knee replacement. Meaning when we do the surgery, we go in and we replace that one area of the knee that's affected with arthritis and we leave the other two areas alone. So if they're native cartilage and intact, we leave that alone and just replace the one out of three areas that's affected. That's a partial knee replacement versus a full knee replacement. If you have two or three of the three areas of the knee affected, meaning you have the medial and lateral compartments affected, the medial and the patellofemoral compartment affected, or all three, the medial, lateral, and patellofemoral compartment affected, then we would do a full knee replacement. Here is a model of a partial knee replacement. So the clear stuff is your bone and what you were born with. So in a partial knee replacement, we go in, we move the kneecap to the side, we do not cut tendons and muscles. This is just for demonstration. And we go in and we remove just the worn out cartilage on the affected side. So we take out little pieces, getting rid of the arthritis to get to the healthy bone, and then we cap the ends of the bones with our metal. So this is on the femoral side. We do the same thing on the tibial or the shin side, where we just remove little pieces of the worn out cartilage. Then we cement a metal uh, base plate in place. Then our plastic piece snaps into the metal piece and then that allows your knee to move and glide in a smooth arc. We leave underneath the kneecap alone and the outside part of the knee alone when we do a medial partial knee replacement, which is the most co common type of partial knee replacement. If we do a patellofemoral replacement, we replace just the worn out cartilage underneath the kneecap and where it meets the thigh bone and we leave the medial and lateral compartment alone. If we do a lateral compartment or partial knee replacement or arthroplasty, we just replace the outside part of the knee and we leave the inside underneath the kneecap alone. The benefit of that is it's a little bit less invasive. It's a smaller procedure just because we're not having to work on the whole surface of the knee. So the recovery seems to be a little bit quicker. Because we leave the ACL and the PCL alone, as well as the rest of the knee, it feels a little bit more natural than a full knee replacement. If we talk about a full knee replacement, this is where we go in, we move the kneecap to the side, we don't cut this tendon, this is just for demonstration, and we go in and we remove all the areas that are worn out with arthritis and then cap the entire surface, both on the femur and the tibial side. That's what a full knee replacement is or a total knee replacement. So the benefit of that is that the new modern implants are feeling way more natural than they used to. Our recovery seems to be a lot quicker by doing kinematic alignment versus the traditional techniques. And so if you do have arthritis in two compartments of the knee, we need to do the full knee replacement and not a partial knee replacement. If we don't address all the issues with the partial knee replacement, patients will not be satisfied with our long-term results. So those are the kind of the differences. There's a little bit longer recovery process with the full knee replacement just because it's a little bit more in-depth procedure than the partial knee replacement. If you have questions about whether or not you're a candidate for the partial knee replacement or the full knee replacement, please call the Louisville Hip and Knee Institute and schedule a consultation. We'd love to talk about these options with you and see if you're a candidate for either one of these procedures. Thanks and have a good day. Mm -hmm.